Yo, yo, yo! G'day and welcome to Minecraft. It's another beautiful day. This is the Banks Meadow server. It's a uh, Minecraft server, Craft Bucket server. It's got the Locket mod installed. Please respect other people's builds, horses and stuffs. Put signs on your builds so we know what is what. And um, I'm using the Faithful Texture Pack and the Silders Vibrant Shaders Shader Pack. And uh, this is the spawn area. So when you start the game, you start here. With a little notice board telling people what to do. So, and um, there's a 30 block radius approximately around spawn that uh, you can't break blocks so you have to move away to break anything so hopefully this area will remain as such unless the creeper blows it up then down here future site of nether gate or nether portal so I thought I'd put the nether portal down there but we don't have one yet and that's a portal that takes you to the nether, which is a scary hellish like place with lots of monsters. This way to K Cat's house and K Cat Industries. That's where my farm areas is. And this is a spawn house. All welcome. So if you start the game and it's night, you can come in here and there's um, potatoes and wheat growing here. And some cows here. And you can break them to get the potatoes, replant. You'll get more than, than you had. <laughs> wheat. So wheat gives you seeds and wheat. Wheat can be turned into bread. Seeds get replanted. Keep everything growing so for the next person. And this is just a little house, crafting table. Oh, we'll make some bread out of our wheat. Oh, and yeah, we'll do that. Bam. Which is good. Oh, I've got some baked potatoes. Cool. Never go anywhere without food. And up here's some beds, some furnaces, some random things. Might just put a um, bit of cobble in there because that might be really useful for someone. Bit of wood, bit of coal. Uh, we'll leave the bread in there. They can have that. Um, potato. Just a few random things. Um, so people got somewhere safe in case it's night because it's. It's pretty nasty out there at night now. And these um, the trapdoor, these are really good because the zombies can't break them down. The normal doors, even on normal, they're getting through. So that's no good. I don't think they can't break down fence gates either. So you could always put a few of these fences around your place. So kill a cow and get some raw beef, which you can cook and eat, and leather, which you can make things out of. Um, well, you can breed them with wheat. If you give two cows wheat each, they'll make a baby cow. So you should always breed the cows before you kill them. But I'll put them there. I can kill them one without breeding them. So if we go over this bridge... Made a bit of a path leading to my house. This is like a dead path that goes off nowhere, but um, could lead somewhere. There's some uh, desert over that way. So this forest is biggish. Um, so there's plains through here. Come through this spooky archway. Oh, there's some pigs hanging at the top. And into this area. It's my little house. So it's a 
bedroom area in there. This is totally not finished. Um, this is the front porch. Need to put some bushes and things around and a few extra bits of decoration. It's pretty sparse inside. Uh, mainly somewhere to put all my chests. So we've got plants, different uh, trees, flowers, seeds, sugar cane, food. Got some beef, apples, carrots. I've got a few carrots off the of zombies, some cooked steak. So that's when you cook the beef, it turns into steak. Lots of wheat, some eggs. So I need to get chicken farm going over here. Drops. So things. Are, these are things that monsters drops drop. These are things that monsters drop. Mostly, although I've put leather from cows and wool from sheep. Um, yeah, well, they're from uh, ink sacks are from squid, spiders eyes from spiders, flints actually from gravel. But I don't know, it makes sense having it in here. Um, wood, wooden things, wood bits, gravel, cobble, dirt. Uh, more of the crafted blocks, so things that you can make from stone. Mm and um, sand and glass and those bits so they're mostly building materials ores just a bit of those guys so he can go in there some lapis coal redstone I've done a I've done a dump take them out so that's put them like that Coal redstone, spare redstone, repeater. Good thing. So we've got three diamonds, which is enough for a pick. Uh, I really want to make an enchanting table too. So I'm just holding off, just not even making the pick just in case. Because if I found like, uh, a, I don't know if dungeons have obsidian, but if I found some obsidian... And I could make the enchanting table without having to make the pick. Or something. Or maybe someone else has a pick. I'm not sure. I found some diamond horse armor, which is that's tops music disc. I've got a sharpness five, which is great. But um, I'll need an anvil to put that on. I've got enough iron probably, but I'm um, kind of saving that. And a few emeralds. Here, yeah, there's not much armor. Uh, random tools. And uh, clay, except I've used most of it on the house. Clay and clay coloring things. Missed just some like useful things. And they are currently empty. So, yeah, I haven't need more clay to finish the roof. It's the bedroom. Um. So that's pretty much that for that area. Um, just these trees are mostly just for wood. I just plant a whole lot of trees, cut them down, plant more, come down. This is a wheat farm. And this is um, not an original idea. This is from I Weld Your Face. Um, just have a look and I'll tell you why I picked this sort of design. Oh, it's pretty good. So, the reason I like this design over the others is that the uh, the sand drops down and the water cascades from each side into this central channel and pushes the wheat and seeds into here. Uh, a lot of the other designs were based on the water coming from this side. Uh, so, it, you know, you can extend your wheat farm so it's quite long and the water would have to flow all the way down through the levels of the wheat farm to the front, which... Uh, could take a long time because you know I can extend this wheat farm back that way but every time you operate it oh lighting glitch every time you operate it it'll just be the time it takes the water to travel to the central point and then it will be finished so you won't be hanging around waiting for the for the wheat to go through now I mean this is the one you have to re-sow but uh, let's um, click the switch yeah. That one got stuck. Okay. I could always build that wall up so that wouldn't happen. And then you just flip it again. The hand comes back up. Dirt. You can see the dirt. And then you just come down to this chest down here. 
And let's do trick them too. So it didn't even just take a while to... Oh, where are you? So it's still going to take a while for them to get down the central channel. Uh, but at least you switch it and you stop switching it. But anyway, we could take these and start to uh, replant. Because you do have to replant so it's ready for the next time. So, uh, this is my preferred method. It's best not to jump on the soil at all because you'll just flatten it and have to re-sow it. Bang. So you could, there's other designs that use uh, bone meal and things like that, but um, oh, you know, I just like to let, let nature do its job, really. Oh, the skeleton, I can hear. Where are you? Oh, right, above me, nice. <laughs> Let's just run away. Very fast. Uh, let's go to sleep and come out again when it's a bit safer. Alright. So the, um, the wheat farm also works with uh, potatoes and carrots so ultimately I want to build yeah got him uh, another you know another version potato carrots maybe along here uh, and then you know as I get more resources I can extend it back this way so they're all longer they're just eight blocks long at the moment but you know they can continue on uh, the only problem with this one is it's slightly more resource dependent than other designs. Which are going. Ah. <coughs> oh, well, I just broke it. That's all right. Yeah. So it's probably washed all the seeds down. Oh, well. Um, it'll just be on the one side. So each side has a piston that is normally fully extended holding the sand up above the level so this is the level of the uh, field and just pushing holding the sand up above it so each side has a piston here and then a, a redstone repeater here and it's all joined up with a line of redstone and that leads around to this side it's the same on both sides so it's you know, mirrored there's a redstone torch here. And then the redstone can go in line, but I had the uh, channel coming through here, so I've just lifted it up one block so that it can clear that water just to you know, keep it tight. Although, theoretically, you could have it in the water on that block, but then the water would be on the redstone. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I thought one block drop was good. And then the, um, so the switch is somewhere on that side. So that turns that line on, redstone line on, which goes both ways, which will turn that torch uh, off, which will turn this line off, which will turn the repeaters the off, which will make the pistons drop down. So, you know, each... Each line uses a, you know, a piston, a repeater, but um, yeah, I like it. All right, now let's check if it all needs re-sewing again, yes. Oh, I need my seeds. So it doesn't take too long to, for wheat to grow, but um, 
But yeah, there's other designs that use bone meal. But uh, although now I have just found a skeleton spawner, so maybe there'll be more bone meal, meal around. Um, let's go look at that while we're here. So it's crossed this way. Look at that roof. Reflections on the water look nice. Um, so I have built the spawner. Um, it's not working great yet because there's a lot of unlit caves in the area, so it cuts down the spawning rates. But um, this is part of it. This is where the skeletons come up and then drop down to their near deaths. Um, I ran out of glass. I've got a bit more. I need to um, finish this in glass, but I'll have to put stone or something in the top or else they'll burn up as it's going through. That will defeat the purpose been in that yarn yet. There's still a lot of exploring to do. Now I've made, I made little paths using uh, these, uh, or anything really, but uh, they're good. Um, and then when I find a dead end, I like to block it off with a pillar or a block of gravel, just so I know that that bit is done. Can hear someone. Then I made a little um, base in here. It's got a place you can put your stuff and dump some things ready to go back down. And then this is the spawner here. This leads to this various mines and things around here. So the actual spawner is in here. Hello. Uh, so the skeletons spawn there, so you need to be around that area. The skeletons will drop down, the water will take them along and then up and then along a bit more and then down to here. So I'm, not, I'm not sure if that's close enough. No. So drop down there. So it, it it works, but it's not it's not very efficient. Maybe maybe we're not close to the spawner there. Maybe I need to make it come back and down. Anyway, I have to count this box. Um, all right. So the spawner. There's um, some mines just down here. start here and I've been cleaning them out, getting wood, getting all good stuff and that needs a lot of exploring. There's a lot of ravines that I've found which are pretty huge so they might need to be lit up depending how close they are to the spawner so that's all a bit of a work in progress but at least at this stage I can get you know a few arrows and things that are pretty useful at this stage and some experience that isn't very useful because I don't have any enchanted table yet but we've found three diamonds so there's got to be more down there I can hear a zombie I don't know where he's oh maybe that other cave that I haven't done that's out here that's probably it So it's a bit of work there. Oh, what a nice floating island up there. I should put something on top of that. So if we head over yarn. Oh, it's my uh, reed farm, um, a sugarcane farm. That's lovely light. Um, so yeah, I need to get some cows going because uh, sugar cane makes paper and cows make leather, paper leather make books. We need books to boost up our enchanted table that we don't have. Oh, cool. So this is something new. Oh, this looks good. Um... 
I like it. So I don't know whose place this is because it's new. I suspect it might be Eridad. That one's not new. Oh, there's a bed in there. Uh -huh. Let's put that, put that back. Well, so this looks good. Can you see my house? Oh, yeah, just through the trees. This area is very nice. I like it. Um, I was hoping there'd be some horses because it's a plains biome. But, I, you know, I haven't seen I haven't seen one around here at all, <laughs> which is disappointing. Um, oh, do I, have, oh no, I have a saddle now, don't I? A saddle... Do I yeah, I just found a saddle. It's um, it wasn't in my chest. I've got some stuff stashed halfway down the down the dungeon. But yeah, I did f down the mine. I did find a saddle, so I could potentially get a horse. Whoa, she's built that on a huge hole. <laughs> That's all we could. Um, so this is built by uh, M Pope. M Pope. M Pope. Herodet, so Herodet start off in here, but she's gone over there. Ah, I think that's my guess. Um, anvil, cool. Actually, an iron block. Doesn't look like an iron block. Dirt. Excuse me. <coughs> um, I don't really need any dirt. Thank you. And uh, this leads down to the cave where they've been mining. Oh, to the cradle. And Pope. Oh, I'll check this out. She's made this uh, <laughs> this like little computer with a screen, and you got to log into to Minecraft on it. That's wicked. Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks cool. She's done that so it lines up with the sun. Wow. I like it. I don't know what it is, but I like it. All right, let's um, have a little sleep in the middle of the living room. And let's go and check out the uh, monument to the setting sun. I hear skeletons. I hope it's not trapped. It's like a it's like a massive gate. But it's closed. It's okay. Oh man, there's a massive surface lava pool. Oh wow. Oh we could build a nether portal with that. We could get to the nether already. It's a huge wooden, it's a wooden pyramid in a hole. Oh. <laughs> wow. Mm, it's quite dark. Very, uh, very interesting. Cool. Well, I don't know. Maybe this is Eridet's place. I'm not sure. There's no signs. <laughs> wow. So what's the... Is there an easy way out? Is it, no? <laughs> what's... In there? Tree maze. And this is marking a. Is there more lava in there? Let's 
tape. Oh, there's more. Alright, so that's uh, someone's little mine of madness. Dangerous entry. Cool. No, well, that's pretty much everything that's on the server that I'm aware of at the moment. It's a little tour. But you know, there's, there's new things every time you look now. Um, do I have any buckets? I mean, I've just got that one water bucket. Yeah, that, that, that yeah, hmm. See, I, you can get lava, put it in a bucket, and then using water, either make it into obsidian or cobble. So, what's the rule? If the lava's still, it makes obsidian, and if the water flows on top, and if the flowing lava hits water, it makes cobble, I think. Don't quote me. So you can, yeah, bucket the, the lava up and um, kind of cast it, make a cobble cast shaped like a nether portal and put the put lava in and put water on the top of it one bucket at a time. And you can cast your own portal. So you don't need a diamond pick. But unfortunately you can't. You can cast the obsidian. But then you need. I think you need a diamond pickaxe to collect it. Or can you do it with, with iron? It just takes a really, really, really long time. Hmm. Maybe I'll test that. I've got a near... I've got another one? No. I'll make another... Iron pickaxe so he's fresh. Because if he breaks halfway through, that probably won't be good. Get a stick. So bucket of water, bucket of lava, iron pickaxe, do it outside because it involves things burning. Alright, so this is just a test to see if I can pick it up so I won't need to put it anywhere particular and just dump it anywhere, if, that, if you know what I mean. That's what I was just put in here. Um. So put the lava in, put the water so yeah. Bam, I have a block of obsidian. Oh, water. It's gone. So let's try mining this. I don't think it works, but we'll see. Give me obsidian, please. Come on, it's nearly night. My hand is cramping. It's done it. It broke right. So it broke it, didn't mine it. Well, now we know. Ah. All right, good night. Goodbye.